Hey viewers and friends, Andrew back again with my continuation of the George A. Romero Dead franchise and today we're going to be doing another lot of reviews and I've decided to uh, break things up a little bit. Today I will be reviewing the remakes so um, we're kind of stepping away from the official George A. Romero series with this one but we are of course talking about the remakes of three of his classic movies. So I've actually watched every movie in the franchise. Um, there were three that I'd never seen before so I rented them out from my local video store and I have watched them so I'm completely good to go with the reviews now which is awesome. And a slight spoiler, um, I've got to say this is now one of my favourite um, franchises of all time. I really enjoyed pretty much all the movies, um, even the remakes. So yeah, uh, this is a exceptional franchise all up. But yeah, I decided to break them up. I was originally going to review uh, Land Diary and Survival um, today, but I thought I'd, since I've previously um, reviewed the original films, I thought it might be um, fun to talk about the remakes in this one. So, yep, today I've got the three remakes ready to review. So, they're not really going to be full on reviews because most of you have seen them, you know what they're about. Uh, this will be more of my opinions on each of the films. So, uh, we are going to go in order and we're going to start with the Tom Savini Night of the Living Dead remake. Now, this one is very similar to the original film. Um, same story, premise, you've got a group of people holed up in a isolated farmhouse and of course the zombies are trying to attack them and get in, you know, bite them, infect them, yada yada yada. Um, very similar to the original. Now, I think this is a fantastic remake. It's one of my favourite remakes of all time. I think Tom Savini did an incredible job with this. Um, yeah, this is just an exceptional film. And I actually prefer it a lot more to the original film. Um, this is definitely the one that I prefer to go to. Um, I just love it. I love the look of the zombies. Um, the zombies in this are one of my favourite looking zombies in any zombie film. Um, it's got really good gore as well, but yeah, I don't know. I just think this is a lot better than the original, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. It's a fantastic movie. If you've never seen this one before, which I highly doubt anyone out there hasn't seen this, but it, anyway, if you haven't, I definitely recommend it. Um, in terms of a remake, it's fantastic. So I'm going to give the Night of the Living Dead remake a 4 out of 5. Uh, now moving on to one of the most popular modern remakes of all time and for good reason, Dawn of the Dead. Uh, this was one of the earlier remakes to kick off this whole modern remake boom. And I've got to say um, this movie is fantastic. Now I do not prefer it to the original. I definitely prefer the original but in terms of a modern remake this is one of the best ones out there. Um, I think they sort of, um, why they kind of kept it similar, I think they changed it up enough and really um, modernized the movie for it to be really really good. It works really really well. Um, there's not so much character um, development in this one as there was in the original. It's quite different. It's a lot more action focused. Um, there's a lot more focus on the zombies in this one rather than the um, actual characters that are trapped in the mall. But there's more characters in this one than there was in the original but yeah I mean this is just fantastic. Um, it's a great modern adaption to a classic zombie film. Um, great gore, I love the look of the zombies, and yeah, this is just a damn good remake. So, I would give the Dawn of the Dead remake a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, one of my favourites of all time, actually, in terms of remakes, so that's that. Now, 
this is where things start getting interesting and I'm probably the only person that thinks this but anyway um, on to my opinions on the Day of the Dead remake. Uh, this is an interesting one um, compared to the original film and compared to the other remakes this is the most different to the original film out of the three remakes. Um, this is almost a completely different movie to the original film. Um, the only similarities in my opinion that this one has to the original is sort of the last 10 to 15 minutes of the movie uh, when they discover the underground um, scientist laboratory. Other than that this is a completely different film to the original. Um, in my opinion this really is not a remake but anyway um, Probably going to cop a bit of flack for this, but I don't care. Um, as you guys know, I don't bullshit about how I feel about movies. Um, I'm going to be honest when I do these reviews. Um, I just finished watching this today, actually, for the first time. And I've got to say, I thought this was really cool. Um, I thought it was great fun, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'd heard so many negative things about this film that I really wasn't expecting much from it. But yeah, I've got to say, uh, this is damn good. And um, actually, it's one of my favourite modern zombie films, actually. Um, nothing compared to the original. Um, and I was kind of um, dubious going into it because the original Day of the Dead is my favorite in the franchise and it's also probably my favorite zombie film of all time so I really wasn't too sure what to expect but I went in pretty much um, with an open mind and yeah as I said I mean this isn't really even an official remake it is a completely different film and I think that's why I enjoyed it so much the issue that I had with it is they could have toned down on the um, zombies a little bit. They were a little bit too fast paced and insane. Um, there was a couple of ridiculous scenes in the hospital where a couple of the zombies um, crawled along the roof which I thought was a bit ridiculous but other than that um, I had no issues with the movie. I thought it was really good. Um, fantastic gore effects and the zombies looked awesome. All around um, this one had pretty awesome characters and a kind of interesting story how um, the way people got infected um, they didn't necessarily have to be bitten to become infected um, so that was kind of cool it kind of reminded me of um, the crazies blended with a um, zombie movie um, quite interesting but I know pretty much everyone hates this movie. I'm probably the only one out there that um, thinks this is really good, but hey, that's my opinion, and if I like it, um, I'm gonna go with it. So, yeah, um, nothing much more I can say about this one um, other than I thought it was great fun and I enjoyed it a lot. So, um, compared to the other remakes, um, this is my least favorite out of the three. But in saying that, I still think this is great. Um, I'm definitely going to be buying myself a copy for my collection. And I'm going to give this movie a score of 3 out of 5. So, um, yeah, I guess if you've never seen this movie, um, I do highly recommend it. Um, I know I'm the only one out there that probably does. But, uh, hey, that's my opinion. So... Yeah, um, but just keep in mind, um, this is not really a remake to the original film. It's completely different. Um, so, there you go. Alright, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, the reviews on the remakes to the George A. Romero original trilogy. So, once again... Um, the scores, the Night of the Living Dead remake, I'd give a 4 out of 5. 
Uh, the Dawn of the Dead remake, I give a 3.5 out of 5. And the Day of the Dead remake, which isn't really a remake in my opinion, I give a 3 out of 5. So I've got to say, um, all three of these remakes are fantastic, and um, they're definitely up there with the best remakes out there um, to an original set of movies, if not the best. Um, I think all three movies were really, really good. So that's pretty much been my video. Um, I'd be quite curious to hear your guys' opinions on these three remakes, um, especially Day of the Dead. Does anyone out there other than myself actually like the movie? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So my next um, Dead-related video will be the um, next lot of reviews for Land, Diary and Survival, which I'll probably have up either tomorrow or the next day. Um, but yeah, I've gone on enough. Uh, this video is long enough, so I hope you've enjoyed these reviews. Um, definitely let me know what you think of these three movies down below and thank you for watching.